I knew I wanted to start a business when I was very, very little. I used to try to sell my toys to my friends just to see if I could get them to buy it for the sake of it, and I loved it. And as I got older, I wanted to do something that I could carry on for the rest of my life, and so I started Simply Denver Soap Co. I started my business in September of 2019 when the all-natural soap company we used to buy soap from went out of business. I tested out many different recipes, different ideas of what I wanted my soap to be like, until I found the perfect recipe, which is good for you and the environment. I use as little paper as I possibly can. Minimalist packaging is good for my business because my soap is simple. My soap is all natural, it's handmade, it's scented with essential oils. I have peppermint, lemon olive oil, original, jasmine, lavender, and certain years in winter I have snowy pine. My favorite part about running a business is the sales aspect. I love talking to people. My first year I sold around 500 bars of soap. My second year, it was around 1,000. This year, we're on track to sell more than last year. I employ my older sister to help me make soap because I've gotten to that point where it's a lot and it's hard to make that much soap. Oh my gosh, Hannah's impressive. She's so confident, well-spoken. I love how she's already engaging her older sister to help her meet production goals. Uh, she has a bright future, it's clear to me. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Jim Reuter. Hannah Doolittle, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to First Bank. We at First Bank have been involved with Young American Center for Financial Education for a long time. Financial literacy is something we, we don't spend enough time on in our schools today, and, and yet it's such a core skill for day-to-day -day life. Everything they do at Young American's Financial Center is so important to us. I was taking different business classes, like a business plan making class, a soap making class. I attended Young Ameritown and International Town, which really helped me with my, my financials. Then I went into Youth Biz Marketplaces and I had amazing sales there and it was just a wonderful experience. I always say execution eats strategy for breakfast because those that get things done are the ones that succeed. When COVID hit, I was very ill-prepared. I had no idea what to do. So I read books, I talked to friends and family, I discussed it with local business people. It helped me learn to like push on and to be ready to learn and to take advice and to try new things when it really mattered. You're going to get connected to a big team here. With my mentorship, I want to get into more stores. I want to be all over the country. The first piece of advice I'd give her is to work on her online presence. That's just the reality of today's business world. And at the same time, she wants to pursue in-market, which I think is very important given, especially the strong affiliation in Colorado for local businesses, organic products that will resonate, but really to scale, she'll need to be good at the digital part as well. Wow. We have a check from Young American Center for Financial Education for $2,000 to help your business grow and even become bigger. Yeah. You've earned it. My advice for any young person wanting to start a business is get out there and do it. Just try it. You have time to fail, you have time to succeed. Just do what you love, test things out, show them you will push on and persevere till the very end. I'm Hannah Doolittle, the owner and founder of Simply Denver Soap Co. You can find my soap at Tulip Gifts and Cards in Denver, or on Etsy, just search Simply Denver Soap Co., all one word. Or you can find me on Facebook, also Simply Denver Soap Co.